PM switching uh, gears one more time. Risk to the world, I want to talk about two. One is all of the tensions in the Middle East, and whether it's ISIS or whether it's the country enduring issues in Gaza, Ukraine, like Central Asia, Ukraine, and so on. Apart from the global uncertainty, do you worry about the fact that some of this might spill over into a more immediate region when you see this mercenary army of ISIS has got people from Indonesia and Malaysia and, and I, I read somewhere from India. Is that something that worries us? Yes, it worries us. Well, it can hit you quite unexpectedly. Ukraine, you never expected, would help hit a Malaysian Airlines aircraft. And it could have hit anybody else's aeroplane. So suddenly, you have nothing to do with it and you are drawn in. ISIS, if it were a matter of mercenaries, well, I think that's manageable. They are motivated by money and uh, they, they, they don't hate the world. But here it's not mercenaries. These are people who have a completely perverted view of the world, of the ultimate things in life, and are prepared to die for it. And you've seen it happen from Malaysia. They, have had several, they say they have several dozen Malaysians in Syria fighting. One has uh, actually perpetrated a suicide attack and killed himself. Uh, the Australians have people there, dozens. And they have had an Australian who, have, who killed himself in a suicide attack. The Indonesians worry about this considerably. So President Yudhoyono has been uh, making very strong statements that, about, against ISIS in recent days and prescribing it, uh, which for a leader of an Islamic country to do, and to do with such conviction, shows how seriously he must take this. And we in Singapore have also seen a few people who have gone to Syria and are there, and a few others who were thinking of heading in that direction, whom we were able to intercept and, and before they could do harm to themselves or others. So we, we take it very seriously. It's part of being a globalized world. How do you know about it? Somebody may have told you, or maybe your Facebook friend. You, how do you find out more? You search the jihadist sites, any number, and you get uh, material circulated, some real showing bloody things happening, some fake from other wars, but associated, and you straight away attribute the worst deeds to the people you think as your, as your enemies. And then you are drawn in. It's not going to turn the world upside down, but it can cause quite a lot of harm.